guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing good guys we're going to be looking at lethal gear set today it is one of the best sets in the game for your nukas it's such a good set uh, what makes it so strong so basically it's savage but it's also got that built-in plus 10 percent crit rate and that helps you reach that all important 100 crit rate that we're all after and you know that really does help your nukas hit so much harder and yeah, like I said, it is one of the best gear sets in the game. So I'm going to be showing you, you know, how to forge it properly. And then, you know, what you want to keep and what you want to sell. Um, but yeah, so let's start. Let's some, forge some pieces out. So let's scroll down. And of course, when you're forging this gear, you want to be doing it during CVC because that's going to help you get as many points as possible. So we are, and you can see I've been saving up my rank charms and my rarity charms. And I get most of these actually from doing, if you can get into gold for tag, I'm buying these every week. So that's an extra 40 every month. And I'm going to actually stick some crit rate charms as well to increase the chance of us getting crit rate substats because that's what we're really after because that makes it just so much easier to build up your champions. Let's see. And I like to just do this quickly. So it's nice to sort of, you know, look at, see what you're getting and stuff, but you don't want to, some people just do it really slowly, you know, rather that you want to speed through this, you, you know, some people will click through and sort of sell as they go. I like to just blitz through this, do this as quickly as possible, and then um, sort of gear cleanse later on. So I'm just going to sort of summon all this gear and I will be back in a moment. So we finished forging our gear. Now what we want to do is we want to go down to lethal and then hit just new, see what's new. Now this is something that I hear a lot of content creators say. And they say, oh, you should sell all your five-star gear. I don't always agree with this. So there's a few exceptions to the rule. If you're early or mid-game, you definitely want to save some of that five-star gear because you're not going to have a lot of gear on your account. And you can still get good pieces of five-star gear. If you're an absolute whale, of course, you're just going to instantly sell. Or if you're end-game like me, you are just going to sell all this five-star gear. So let's just do that. And then only look at six-star pieces. Okay, that's a really good weapon keep. That's really nice as well. That could be good for a HP nuker. So just to talk about that quickly as well. Um, so ideal substats are speed, crit rate, and crit damage. Those are like the ideal ones for lethal. Um, but then the other, the secondary sort of substats you want to look at are HP percentage, attack percentage, and defense percentage. So there's three kinds of nukers. You've got attack, defense, and HP. If it's a defense nuker, then you want to save some defense, um, you know, substats for those champions and HP for HP and attack for attack. And um, that's quite nice as well. Um, okay, that's definitely a sell. That's a sell as well. Ideally, I want sort of three really good pieces to keep. So three good substats. And again... Oh, it's just not quite good enough for my account. So yeah, definitely going to sell that. And one of my set favorite sub, um, substats is speed. Speed is such a good substat. It determines everything in the game. It's turn order. You know, it stops the enemy team cutting in on you. It's just so important. And, you know, if your champions, you know, your nuka, if he's really, really slow, I mean, like, if you take away stone skill and stone skin and all that, and we're just talking about, like, just, like, general PvP, you know, if your champion's really, really slow, he's not going to be able to do anything. So that's a sell as well. Um, that's a sell. I'm not going to sell some of this stuff, though. Just the reason for that is that um, I'm going to do some chaos ores as well, because you might as well. That's no good. No good. Again, all of this is sell, sell, sell. Okay, no, none of the gloves I'm really liking. Okay, awful, awful chess piece. And again, like what we're looking for on chess piece. Um, so gloves, ideally, you only want to keep your crit damage gloves. I can't really think of any sort of situations where you'd keep HP, defense, or attack. Um, yeah, it just doesn't doesn't make sense to me. Um, chess pieces, though, um, attack percentage. Um, maybe accuracy, um, defense, and HP. And um, boots, oh my god, these are like god tier boots. 
Those are definitely a keep. Um, no, trash. Just if it had crit rate on them, they would be pretty god tier, but without it, no good. No good on the flat stats. And again, like if you're going to keep boots where you got like a HP champion, you do want to have speed and crit rate on them because otherwise they're just going to be too slow and they're not going to be able to do anything. So, okay, these are really, again, these are god tier boots, providing it doesn't land on the accuracy. If it's like triple attack, uh, sorry, triple crit rate or triple um, crit rate, that is going to be amazing. Um, but yeah, nothing here. So let's um, roll some of this stuff out. Roll, let's uh, re-roll even. Take that off. So yeah, I just, no, that's that's still a good piece. Okay, so this one, I love to chaos. Okay, so I've only got eight pieces, so I'm not going to do it on any epic gear. Okay, this is definitely worth reworking. Okay, so it's still trash, so sell it. This one, another one for the rework. Oh, nice. So this is definitely worth keeping. Okay, it's not got crit rate on it, but because you've got that 10% built-in crit rate with lethal, you can get away with stuff like this. So definitely worth keeping. Could be really good for a defensive nuker, or if it's like, you know, a quad roll in crit damage, I'd still put that on attack champion. Be fine. Um, but yeah, so the rest of it we can sell. So let's just quickly go through this again and sell some stuff okay i might just keep that i probably will end up selling it anyway okay that's still a good piece so gloves yeah sell sell yeah without speed on it i just feel like it's not really worth it Oh, okay, these are really good gloves, really nice. Shame there's no speed on them, but attack percentage and crit rate. Um, it's so hard to get like the perfect substats, especially on gloves, chests, and boots. So we did get really lucky on boots. So yeah, they're the ones that we're going to keep. Everything else is a sell. So that's 34 pieces sold out of like, I think it was like 130 or something. So it does sort of show you how much you sort of do cleanse, cleanse out. And you know, while we're at it, uh, Myliores needs a little bit of work done to him. He's actually got a um, five piece uh, chest and boots. So let's see if we can upgrade that. So I'll be back in a sec. So I did have a look at my Liores and actually there was no room for improvement, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, we did get some really nice pieces today. I hope this has helped you guys understand how you should forge gear. And, uh, you know, do you guys agree with the way that I do it? Um, do you do things slightly different? Please do let me know. Drop a comment below. And also, if you are new to the channel, please do like and subscribe. It really does help my channel grow and it motivates me to make more content for you guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll catch you in another video soon. Peace.